This is Jeff Mackinnon at DRF Sports, here to handicap the NFC Championship game, which will take place Sunday afternoon at 6.40 p.m. Eastern Time. It'll feature the top two seeds in the NFC, both teams 14-3, and three, the Green Bay Packers and the San Francisco 49ers. DRF Sports have you, has you covered for the NFL playoffs, along with the college basketball and NBA seasons, in addition to the NHL. College basketball is currently in the heart of the conference season, and you'll get 100-plus games on a Saturday. And guess what? We have all of those games covered. It's just one penny with our new promo special. Log in at sports.drf.com and use the promo code PENNY to get your first week of your subscription started for just a penny. San Francisco currently is seven and a half point favored in this game. The line moved from seven to seven and a half. Over under has ticked up from 44 and a half to 45. Of course, what everybody's talking about, and I'm going to skip ahead here into the head to head section, is the previous matchup where San Francisco absolutely routed Green Bay 37 to 8 in a game that was 23 to nothing at halftime and was fr- frankly dominated by the 49ers. Aaron Rodgers was, was held to under 100 yards passing on 37 attempts, just a ridiculously poor efficiency. And you don't see that too often out of Rodgers or the Packer offense. So an excellent job there by the 49er defense. Looking at the game simulator, estimate number one, San Francisco projected to win 30 to 20. Estimate number two has a 28 to 17 San Francisco victory. And the power line has San Francisco by eight. Overall, San Francisco averaging these three ratings together would be nine and a half point favorite with an over under somewhere around 47. So there is a a couple points of value here to the 49ers and a couple to the over. Unlike the AFC Championship game from a statistical standpoint where both teams seem pretty even, this game on paper looks like it really is more of a mismatch. Green Bay is being outgained by their opponents, both in terms of yards per play and yards per game. In fact, the 49ers are outgaining their opponents by 103 yards per game and 1.2 yards per play. They are out rushing their opponents 147 to 107, which leads to a plus 11 point differential. The one area where Green Bay has survived and has the advantage is they have been able to force turnovers this year. They're plus 12 on the turnover differential. Of course, it helps having a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers, who's very careful with the football. Taking a look at our betting angles for this game. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, San Francisco did win in a route, but that actually p- plays into a, a potential betting system here favoring Green Bay, which plays on underdogs of 3.5 to 10, revenging a same-season loss versus that opponent when they're off a home win. So Green Bay obviously off the home win last week against Seattle, seeking revenge from their prior blowout against San Francisco. This is a profitable 38 and 16 against the spread over the last 10 seasons. Looking at the betting action for this game, the 49ers are drawing 57% of the wagers to 43 on Green Bay, 71% of the wagers are on the over, 29% on the under. These teams have a long history of meeting each other in the playoffs dating back to the days of Steve Young and Brett Favre. One area where Green Bay has the edge, despite that November blowout loss to the Niners, they are 15-6 and six straight up, dating back to 92 against the 49ers. In fact, 6-4 and four in San Francisco. So they have had some success historically against the 49ers. Uh, interesting to note, Green Bay he comes in here on a six-game winning streak. 49ers have actually won four of six. Uh, One thing to note with the 49ers is they have not played, minus last week's victory over Minnesota, they have not played as good of defense of late, giving up 46, 29, 31, and 21 in the previous four games. Green Bay, on the other hand, has been playing good defense, 13, 15, 13, 10, 20, and 23, and that 23 
was against Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks, in which the Seahawks had just three points at the half. So the Packer D has improved. Um, another interesting point on the Green Bay team here, they just do not turn the ball over. As I mentioned, Aaron Rodgers, very careful with the football. Uh, they did turn it over three times against the Vikings, but besides that, just three total turnovers dating back to October 27th, which in a high-profile game like the NFC Championship game, it really could be of value not to turn the ball over here. Um, in fact, overall, looking at this game, there is an advantage to, to the Packers in that Rodgers ha is the more experienced postseason quarterback. Garoppolo in his first postseason run with the 49ers in just his second game. Because of that, I'm going to side with Green Bay here. I do think this game is going to be a closer game than what we saw back in November. I'm more than willing to take the seven and a half points. I'll take Green Bay plus the seven and a half. This is Jeff Mackinnon at DRF Sports, Twitter handle at SportsDBExpert. Good luck on Sunday afternoon.